What's up guys, it's Rack City here. Now I've decided to take it upon myself to make a tutorial for overgrowth because in you know the past couple of years, there, of course there are a couple of tutorials out there, but I haven't seen any updated tutorials. They've changed the controls, they've changed the layout of the menu and everything. You know, a lot of things have changed. So I spent time fishing through the forums. I've spent time ripping levels apart, trying to figure out just how levels are made and just, you know, what goes behind each level. So I'm going to show you just how to do that. Of course, you're not going to learn how to make it in just this one in this one video. It takes time. So in this first episode, we'll cover movement and character creation. Character creation isn't this whole standalone feature. It's just more like you make a character, you move on to the next character. So let's start by opening up a new level. When you open up a new level, it gives you this base platform. Nothing fancy, nothing uh, too difficult to know. Just this lone platform. So, I'm moving with WASD, pretty standard. You hold the left mouse button to move the camera around, and you can go on all angles. You can even go upside down. Looks really weird. And to go horizontal, to go uh, vertically, you just hold shift, S or W. And then AD just goes left and right. Without holding shift, WS goes forward and backwards. Holding shift goes upwards and downwards. Now let's get into some basics. How to spawn objects. In this, char uh, in this uh, tutorial, I'll show you how to you know, make custom characters. You can change their stats, change their colors, you can even add objects onto them. I'm just going to go ahead and load an item that I've already made. I'm going to load in this test rabbit here named Ori. He's a mercenary bunny. That's pretty average. Nothing special about him, apart from the fact that he's a ninja like rabbit. Now, how do I go from making a base model that looks like this to this? Well, I'm going to show you right now. What you saw me do was just go into the load menu and load a uh, plain rabbit model. So, load character and go down until you see male rabbit guard this spawns a plain white rabbit to act as our blank canvas let me delete this rabbit here and delete all this stuff that goes with it all right so let's uh, unpause this guy to bring up the stats and color menu you're going to double click on this rabbit and you're going to hold shift and tap U. This brings up this whole menu. Left click on this to extend the menu outwards. This allows us to name the character. So let's name him Test Rabbit for the purpose of this video. So when you go to edit set level params you can go down here to the search bar and click or type test and we don't have, we don't even have to type out the whole word so now that we have just some basic things using this allows us to find objects in a much more grand scale of a level if you look at the overgrowth story uh, you'll see a whole lot of objects if you go into the editor mode so that's just a night a nice way of finding a specific object or a specific character whatever it is you need to find so let's modify the statistics we obviously have a name from now so it's much easier to find them throughout a level transform just changed the positioning of it the scale and the rotation but let's not worry about that that's not too important let's open up script params this shows you just what this ra it shows you what this rabbit is capable of or it shows you you know how this rabbit is scripted you can change the ear size of the rabbit to make them look funny you could even change how much fat he has on him or you can change how much muscle he has on him so you can make him a very strong rabbit with a lot of fat we can make him a very skinny rabbit with a little bit of muscle. 
which this looks pretty ridiculous as is. Looks too scary. I'm gonna change it back. All right, so we have a rabbit here. Let's make him into something else. So I don't want him to fight for the guard team. I want to fight him for Turner. What this allows me to do, changing the teams, which is whenever I spawn a Turner in, a Turner model, he will instantly be his ally. He doesn't make that awareness noise. He just looks at him or whatever, you know, just carries on throughout his day. So let's type in Turner. This changes this character to be on Team Turner. So if I load in a Turner model, these two will not attack each other. However, if I change it back, they'll start fighting. But let's keep him at Turner. The choice is yours. Do whatever you want. Play around with the, with the uh, skills. And so forth. Now, say you want to add armor. Go to new parameter. And call it armor. With a capital A. Next, what you want to do is go to the box to the right. And in all undercase letters, put metal. What this does is it creates another layer over your character. It creates a metal layer. So if you put any metal objects over him, they will react as metal rather than reacting as his base uh, layout with just clothes on. So let's add a piece of armor onto him. All we do is take this metal piece right here, this breastplate, and let's attach it like so. So all you do is hold Alt and attach it to the uh, region on the rabbit where you want to attach to. So that's his chest. All you've left to do is just align it like so, so it looks like it's on him. Alright, so it looks to me like it's on there pretty good. Nice and snug. Nothing up with it. Looks like it's not coming off anytime soon. And we're, now we're going to put a backpack on him. So, as you saw me press a couple times, you press the tilde key to pause the game. So it's much easier to put uh, an item on a character. Let's spawn a pack. Now feel free to play around with items when you place them on your characters. If you want to place an object on an object, you don't attach the object to the object using the Alt key. You want to attach it to the character and then attach that one to the same region where you placed that first object on. I'll show you what I mean in a sec. So now I'm going to show you how to attach a weapon or another object onto a backpack. Now if you want to attach a static weapon and not an actual weapon, all you do is look for the weapon that you want to attach. For instance, a uh, sword. Sorry, a dog sword. You would click on, not the first one, but the second object down. And what it does is it creates an object that allows you to attach to the player model. So it's the same idea. Hold Alt, attach to the uh, skeletal structure of the character. And the rest, you just do from there. Now, it doesn't have the scabbard on it. That's no big deal. You take the scabbard model, and you attach it on, and you line it up with the sword. So it looks like the sword's attached to the backpack. Will it come out? No, because it's a part of the bone structure of the character now. So even if I fall with the character, nothing's going to come off. Nothing. It's not going anywhere. Now, if you want to make a character follow this character that you already are playing with, all you do is take another character model. For instance, we're going to use Turner because he's on the same team as Turner. And you hold Alt and click your player box. What that'll do is it'll make these characters best friends. They start to move with each other. They won't do the same exact thing, but they'll do things to get over obstacles. 
So say for instance we have something like a rock in the way. Let's just scale this down a little bit. Everything that we're doing, the AI will, will start to, to do. So if you want to get over an object, the AI, the AI will do the various things that we do to get over an object. That's how he'll follow us. Just let me uh, let me load that again. In some cases, he'll walk over depending upon depending upon whatever it is there. He'll even follow us off the edge to your death. Let's make a quick parkour map before we decide to uh, close out this video. And I'll teach you how to make levels in the next episode. So don't stress if you don't know what the hell I'm doing. But you'll find out in the next episode. So it's not nothing too difficult. This is all simple things that I'm doing. And you can learn how to do this in just a matter of one of my videos. All right, let's go. Whoop. Let's try it again. All right, so now I need to modify this so they can't get on top. That should be better. Alright, let's try this one last time, and we'll close out the video. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, where I cover the basics of level making. Alright, see you guys.